I need you to open the door now. Maybe they already left. Maybe Tess was never even here. at home. We've been expecting you. Can I interest you gentlemen in some coffee? Oh, that's right. I don't have any more packets. Damn. Well, this isn't a social call. Ford was assaulted. Tess knocked him out. Let's go. Oh, so I'm being arrested. I thought I was going to St. Anne's. Where are the guys in the white coats? Ford? Wasn't that the deal? You know, Aubrey and Joey give you Ryder if you have me committed? What's the matter? Did they back out? I never called St. Anne's. Why not? He had to find you first. You sign the papers and I'll call St. Anne's. What if Joey and Aubrey back out? Then you get Tess released. You've got nothing to lose. Committed. You knocked me out. You could have killed me. Call St. Anne. Can I speak to Dr. Levin? Uh, you're wasting your time. I'm not going to St. Anne's. I signed the commitment papers. Well, wasn't that nice for you? I have some papers on my own. Yeah, I'll hold. Uh, Tess, pack up your stuff. You're gonna go to St. Anne's. We're gonna get Jessica back. Is that what you want? You want Jessica back? It's, it's, it's what needs to happen. I made my decision. It's, uh, it's not really your decision to make. Hey, though. I'm her husband. Uh, guess again. What's that? Yeah, just give me his voicemail, please. Your marriage has been annulled, Robert Ford. I am now officially not Mrs. Robert Ford. No, no, no. This can't be legal. Oh. It's very legal. I've got a great attorney. And since our marriage was never consummated, thank God. And since you committed fraud. So you married Jessica Brennan, but Jessica Brennan was AWOL. All we had to do was dot a few I's, cross a few T's. Hey, you said the marriage was over. I just made it official. Cutter, you just did us a huge favor. Jessica is married. The power of attorney reverts back to Vicky and Clint, and I know they want her in San Oh. Pop the brakes there, cowboy. I wouldn't call Vicky or the Clinster right quite yet. They don't have any power over me. Yeah, they do. You don't have a husband. Ah! Oh! Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to Mr. and Mrs. Cutter Wentworth. What the hell? Oh, it's okay. I'll explain it to you, and I'll use really small words. I ended my marriage with Ford, and now I'm married to Cutter. No hard feelings, big guy, okay? I had to recycle the ring. I hope you don't mind. So how is this marriage any less of a fraud than ours? Like I said, I've got a really good attorney. You know, I know I Ford married Tess. He won custody of Ryder. What are you getting out of this? Why did I marry her? I love her. I have no idea what you're dealing with, Cutter. Tess, Jessica has a very serious mental illness, and if she doesn't get treatment, Giving up on you, Jessica. I will find a way to get you back. <gasps> get over it, Bonehead. She's not coming back. So if you guys will excuse us, my wife and I have some celebrating. Mm -hmm. If I were a cop, I would lay you out. Please allow me. Arrest him. Oh, he just assaulted me. I didn't see anything. Boys. If we can't play nice, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. But, uh, if you guys want to get us a gift, we're registered at Logan's. Cutter there wants a Z-Box. I'd like an espresso machine. Okay? Scoot! Get out! Hmm. Out! You believe she married that guy? Well, we'll see about that. All right, whatever you're planning. I'm in. Oh, yeah? Why is that, Ford? I love Jessica. I want her back. But you never had anything real with Tess. You were just using her. Could you get me some ice, Mrs. Wentworth? But of course, Mr. Wentworth. 
We did it. Yeah, we did. You got your freedom. And you're gonna get your half of the Buchanan fortune. So, are you gonna break the news to your sister? Or should I?